All right, now here I am watching this YouTube video in landscape mode using my one hand. Now to pause this video or move forwards or backwards or increase the volume or mute the volume, I don't really have to use my other hand. I can just use this swipe gesture from the left side of the screen to open this useful menu which enables us to carry out some actions. As you can see, I can play or pause this video. I can increase the volume by tapping on volume up key. I can reduce the volume. I can forward this video or I can move backwards. And I can also mute this video. All this is possible with just one hand. Now on Samsung internet application, again, I will use the same gesture. As you can see, we have got new tab, close tab, previous tab, next tab, move forwards, menu key. I tap on the new tab. You can see the new tab is open. I'll tap on this previous tab. I'm able to go back to the previous tab. Again, here I'm just using the phone in one hand. By just using the thumb, I'm able to execute these actions. Now, how do we set this up? We can select keyboard shortcuts option for any of the gesture handles you are comfortable with on one hand operation plus application. I have already made a couple of videos on this particular app. This is a wonderful app which can enable you to use your phone in one hand. There are loads of actions which you can select for each gesture on the phone. And in this video, I'm showing you a particular gesture action called keyboard shortcuts, which will be really useful while using your YouTube, Samsung internet, or a bunch of other applications. Now, before we go ahead and see how exactly we can set this up, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to smash that like button. Now let's go ahead and open one hand operation plus. This application is of course from Goodlock Labs. We can also download this from Google Play Store. Now let me just open this application. I will select left handle here. You can select whichever handle you want. And you can also select any of the swipe directions or even short swipe or long swipe option. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to select diagonal down. Once you select this, scroll all the way down, you will see an option called keyboard shortcuts. Just select this. It says this function lets you use gestures to open keyboard shortcuts for certain applications. It works with the apps below. You can add more apps or edit actions in settings. By default, this runs on general app actions, internet, Chrome, YouTube. Now let me just go back again to keyboard shortcuts. As you can see here, there is a settings icon. I'll tap on this. Here, we will be able to add more applications. I just tap on add. Let me just select Spotify here. After selecting the application, you can tap on it to add or remove keyboard shortcuts for that particular application. I'll just tap on add here. Now here, you don't have to select any of these keys on the first option. You can just tap on the second one here and scroll all the way down. You can see some of the similar actions here. We have options like previous track, next track, play pause track, volume down, volume up, search in app. You can select any of these useful actions based on your requirement. After you select that, just tap on OK. You can add more actions here. I'll tap on add again. Scroll all the way down. I will tap on next track. I will tap on OK. As you can see, I have selected two keyboard shortcuts for this particular application. Now let me open Spotify and play a song here. Now here I can use the swipe gesture to open this menu. As you can see, the options we have selected are appearing here. I will just tap on search in app. It will directly go to search here using one hand. I can operate this application. If you want to reach search option, you will have to use your second hand. But using this gesture, you can tap on search in app and search the song that you want using just one hand. That is amazing. It is good to see how Samsung is giving importance to one hand usability on their devices. There are so many swipe actions you can select using one hand operation plus application. Like I mentioned, I did make a couple of videos on this. There is one video which shows all those seven gesture actions that I use on my phone. I will leave a link for that video in the description. Go ahead and check them out. And there are many other tips and tricks videos on the channel. For a few of them, I have left the links in the description. Go ahead and check them out. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. My name is Salyan signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.